Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 35 in my Powerful Tools of Affinity series. You can check the link below to get to the whole playlist. I also did the same tutorial in the iPad version, so you can check that out too. And once again, I'm going to play with Threshold, but this time I think it's going to be a lot more fun, and it'll be interesting effects you can do with Threshold, so let's get started. I pulled in this dog from stock photos. You can use any photo you want. The first one I'm doing a dog and the second one I'm going to, if you stick around till the end, I'm going to give you even more interesting effects when I do the buildings. So I took this dog and I'm going to, it's an image, so you have to rasterize it. So I'm just going to click rasterize because you could do more things when you rasterize it as long as you know that's the correct size. So now I'm going to go into the adjustments and go to threshold. And I'm going to just decide how much of this dog I want to show. And I, I could go all the way, but I don't want to lose too much of the dog. So I can just kind of leave a little bit. And I can always paint over the excess black on the outside here if I want to. Maybe just a touch more. And I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to take these two, group, and then rasterize. Now it's just a solid pixel image. So now I got to select that and go to filters, color, and erase white paper right there. And now it's completely hollow. Everything white is see-through and everything black is not. And if I want to add some more black to this, I can just take a paintbrush and just pick any brush I want like this. And I'm using my right bracket to increase it. And I could just paint if I want. I don't have to. You can leave that there. That's your choice. And it depends on what you want to do there. And I can soften my brush a little bit up here. In fact, I'll make it a really soft when I get close. And just kind of give it a little bit like that. Once again, you don't have to do this. But it kind of, in this, in this instance, I'm not doing this in the next instance. But in this instance, it works. Now let's hide the dog layer. Let's do layer, new fill layer, and whatever color you want. I am probably just going to pick some kind of a neutral color, maybe something in the tan. I don't know exactly where. Maybe this way. Let's just, I just don't want it to be white in this case. So let's maybe leave it like that. That's, that's, we can change that afterwards. And now we're going to do a new pixel layer again. And now I'm going to pick some brushes. I'm going to pick maybe textures and let's do that and let's keep the color open and maybe let's start with red. I don't know. Anything you want. I'm going to make this really big. I'm just going to go like that and maybe like that and that and maybe that and then I'll pick a green and maybe that way. Uh, let's make it darker green and I should have gone darker red like that and maybe a blue. Just for fun, you could do anything you want and maybe I'll pick something different in the blue now. Whoops, make it also larger. I'm using my right bracket and I'm just basically creating what any kind of abstract and it really doesn't matter. You just paint it any way you want and maybe a different texture. How about this one? And let's go pick maybe one of these. And like I said, you can do anything you want. Let's just leave it at this for now. And it's simple as that. Now all I have to do is move that dog, turn it on, and move the dog to the front, and there you go. So, and you can do different things besides. Now I'm gonna show you another technique afterwards in the next uh, photo. But for this one, if you don't like the harshness, and I like the harshness of it, like the crispness, I should say. If you don't like the crispness, then you can go to effects and go to glossy and blur and you can blur that out too you know so you can have like a watercolor look like an inverted watercolor look i'm going to do the same thing i just chose this building i think i typed in houses and stock photos once again you choose anything you want and i'm going to follow the same thing i did before right click rasterize then i go to adjust like before i go to adjustments threshold 
and I could decide once again how much of a threshold I want. Do I want it really dark? Do I want it light? And I kind of think that something like this looks pretty good to me. You could choose whatever one you want and I'm going to right click and rasterize it. Now, now it's a pixel image and now that it's a pixel image you can go up to filters, color, erase white paper just like we did before. And that what that does is it takes anything that's white and makes it see through. The, anything white disappears completely. So let's turn that off and now we'll do layer, new fill layer. And I have no idea what color I want to make this. So let's just make this one maybe in the blue family, something maybe like that. Before I did it like a tan family. So this time I'll try a blue. And then I'm going to do another new layer right here on top of it. And I am going to use the paintbrush and choose a brush. And maybe we don't, maybe this time instead of textures, how about, how about we do sprays and splatters? And I'm going to make my, I like to make my brushes really big in this case because it's a big size photo. And I just like start spray, spraying something and then another thing. And let's try some orange. And then maybe we'll go to something like this. Whoops, undo because I want to make sure they're really big. So how about something? Whoops, that's, I don't like that one. <laughs> so it shows you don't know till you try. How about that one? Let's try, um, something like that and maybe some green in there and then I don't know let's go into something a little different let's go from sprays and splatters to I think I did textures let's do some let's go to watercolor like we did before I'm just going to just keep like I said doesn't matter what I'm doing here I'm just playing and having a good time. Oh, I think I haven't done a purple. Let's try a purple. Let's try something like that. And let's say that's good enough. I think, no, I think I need some more color over here and some more yellow maybe on this side. I don't have too much on this side yet. And we'll go to the bottom. Uh, let's see. Let's do a little green down here. All right, that's good enough for now. Now, maybe we'll change it later. But let's keep it at that. I'm going to close this, get it out of my way. And now I'm going to turn this on again and move it to the top. And so now you can see we have this. And I think I will blur this. Let's go to Gaussian Blur. Actually, before I try that, let's try doing a bevel and emboss. And see what happens there. So, eh, I don't like that as much. I'm just going to go to Gaussian Blur on this one and see how I just want to smooth that out, give it that really blurry look. And then I'm going to take the building this time. And on that one, I am going to go to maybe, I don't know, 3D or maybe should we, let's try Bevel and Emboss again. And let's see how that works. We'll give it an embossed look and it will go kind of like that maybe so it'll give it a different kind of an effect we could soften that emboss we can we can change that to an inner emboss and see how that works and give it a little bit of a different effect and we can go to outer and see how that works and I think I'm okay with the outer I think outer looks pretty interesting and if we don't want the Gaussian Blur, let's take the Gaussian Blur off. And now we can 3D. Let's say we 3D'd the um, painting. Again, we can add more paint if we want. But let's say we did a little bit of 3D on the painting. So that's how you can do 3D. But now we can go also, if we wanted to, we can go back here and say we go to a softer colors. And once again, we open this up. If we don't like the background... We can change the background. We can also change, say, the fill color to, say, red. I don't know. Or green. Or pale blue. As you can see, we can make it a weird, eerie night scene. And then if we want to go back to the paint job, paint part, 
and we go to the paintbrush and this time we do a soft watercolor brush let's try that and we can go like whatever we want to do back here and then we can go to another color and push that and we can go to another color and do that and or you can paint things separately if you want whoops you can paint things in wherever you feel you want to like if you want these windows to be say yellow paint there yellow right there and then these things this is the antennas that were on the buildings if you don't like that go to your eraser tool and just erase that out you can erase anything you want on this or you can do a mask if you want but this is just a simple kind of an abstract kind of a look and I think this was kind of fun and you could be as creative think about all the creative kind of things you could do so if you found this tutorial useful please click like and subscribe and have a great day thanks so much bye bye